YouTube, Kyle back here again. Uh, to, I posted a poll on the Instagram story asking you guys uh, if you wanted to see how I got shredded, the, the methods I used, the techniques I used. So today's video, we're gonna cover that. So we're gonna go through three main topics, uh, the maintenance calories, how to find them, uh, macro tracking 101 for beginners, and how to use my fitness pal. So let's get her going. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Calories. I'm gonna use Yopi as an example. Show them yourself, bro. Give a nice little selfie. All right, so he weighs at, at 160 pounds. So the easiest way to find your maintenance calories is multiply your body weight by either 14, 14, 15, or 16, okay? To figure out whether you multiply your body weight by 14, 15, or 16, it really very depends on your, um, your activity level. So let's say, you want to multiply, let's say you're an athlete and you work out every single day, your, your work job is very laborious, very strenuous, and it requires a lot of energy expenditure, you will multiply your body weight by 16, which gives you 25, 60. But let's say you're just like me, who just goes to the gym every day that works out five, six times a week and nothing else, you will multiply your weight by 14, okay? 14, which gives you 22, 40. And you, if you're in between, you just multiply by 15, if you 2,400 calories, okay? So now I'll show you the next step what we gotta do next. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we decided Yopi fits in the 14 range where he just works out five to six times a week and everything else, he's just sitting on his computer playing Fortnite, streaming, whatever the case is, right? So his maintenance calories to maintain his weight at 160 is 2,240. So to own, in order to, be in a de uh, to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit, right? A caloric deficit. So you can two, pick two approaches, a fast cut or a long cut, right? So a fast cut, you, you would have to subtract just maintenance calories by 500, that's like an ideal range. Or you want to do a slower cut, maybe you would subtract his uh, calories by 250, it's like 300, 350, whatever the case is. Uh, there are benefits to doing a slower cut. Um, you retain more lean body mass, doing so better muscle function. That's what I learned from uh, UFT, something that I should learn from school for once. All right, so what approach I used <laughs> was a faster cut. So we did 2240 minus 500. So that puts us at 1740 calories for him to eat a day to only to lose weight. All right, so now we're track, Now we're gonna figure out how to track, get his macro from that. Last clip, uh, Yopi's caloric deficit calories. He has to be eating 1740 calories a day, okay? So for what I did, I just want to preface this saying now, this is not the only method you could use. This is what I did and how I got the results, right? So you could uh, have your protein super high if you wanted to, but the golden rule of thumb, that what I used was one gram of protein per body weight. So Yopi is 160 pounds, so we gotta use 160 grams of protein a day, okay? So now we're gonna find our fat. All right, so the next macronutrient we need to find is fat, right? So we have a range we can multiply our body weight by. So remember, Yopi's body weight is 160 pounds. So we have 0 0.3, 0 0.35, and 0.4. Okay, so let's say you really love carbs. Like, oh my God, Becky, I want fucking Starbucks. I want fucking rice. I want fucking pasta, yo. Okay? Okay, Becky? Okay, so if that's the case, we're gonna multiply his body weight by 0 0.3, which gives you 48 grams of fat. However, Yopi, he told me that he likes fat way more. Okay, so then if he likes fat, like cheese, uh, avocados, shit like that, we're gonna multiply his fat by 0.4, which is 64 grams. Okay, and now, look, face me. We're gonna find fucking carbohydrates now, baby. We're gonna find, we're gonna find them. Action. All right, so the macronutrients we have right now is his fat and his protein. So as you guys remember, 64 grams of fat, because he likes fatty foods, and 160 grams of protein. So I just wanna say this before anything else. Each gram of fat is nine calories, and each gram of protein and carb is four calories, okay? So we have multiplied 64 grams of fat times nine equals 576. 160 grams of protein times four is 640. So it gives us a grand total of 1216 calories, right? But our goal was, as you guys remember, 1740, right? So we get 1740 minus 1216, and that gives us, uh, shit. 1740, I'm fucking aging, I should be able to do this. Uh, 524 calories, okay? So, get the shit out of the way. So 524 calories are left. And that's gonna be carbohydrates, right? So each 
gram of carbohydrate is four calories. So you're gonna get 524. So divide that shit by four. It gives us uh, 130, 130 carbs. Okay, so that's gonna be the carbs. So that's this, these whole calories here, 576 plus 640 plus 524 equals his, equals his uh, caloric intake for the day to be in this caloric deficit. Okay, it was 1740, baby. All right, so now I'm gonna show you everything really quickly, uh, uh, how, what we did, uh, it's action. All right, I just want to apologize. This is my third YouTube video. This is a case I was stuttering. You guys didn't really get what the fuck I was saying. So uh, I'm gonna give you a brief synopsis, the overview of what the hell we just did in the last, I don't know, two or three minutes or so. So we're gonna use his body weight. Well, Yopi's body weight is 160 pounds, right? So we use one gram of protein per body weight. So that's 160 grams he's gonna be consuming a day. And for fat, uh, we did the scale from 0.3 to 0.4. So since he likes fatty foods so much, we gotta multiply his body weight 160 times 0.4, okay? That gives us 64 grams of fat. So once you get those two numbers, those two macronutrients, you just gotta multiply the calories and divide it by four and you get 130 carbs, okay? So in order for Yopi to become shredded, sexy, a fucking model, you will have to eat 1740 calories a day, okay? To be this caloric deficit. However, this is the faster approach. So if you don't want to cut for five, six months, I recommend this um, deficit. So subtracting 500 from your maintenance calories, opposed to 250. But like I said earlier, there are benefits of doing a sh uh, more long cut as you retain better muscle and better muscle performance, okay? So, since we got that out of the way, we got to, I'm gonna show you how to track your macros and uh, how to use a food scale. Okay? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. So Action. in case you guys feel like I'm bullshitting you, I'm gonna show you a before and an after video of me posing of using this method, okay? So let's fucking get her going. She. <laughs> Action. Okay. In order to have accuracy and precision while you're tracking your macros, you need a fucking food scale, baby. You get this shit at Walmart for like $20, okay? $20, so that's the only thing you need in my fitness pal. But I'm gonna show you how to track macros first. So this is perfect, this is my second meal of the day. So we're gonna do some egg whites, okay? Come over here, come over here. For egg whites, it shows that it's 63 grams per serving, okay? And we want to do, uh, hold on, let let's me get do, that. let's do uh, five servings, okay? So we gotta do 63 times five. That's, uh, That's a lot of math. 315 grams, 315 grams, okay? So we get our, get our bowl, okay? We put this shit to grams, because it's shit's in grams. And we're gonna tear it. Tear it to zero, okay? And we go until we get 315. Show them the number. 315. Oh shit, okay, fuck it. Whatever, 325, same shit, okay? So now we gotta do that. So we have, now we track our eggs. We're gonna do, track our eggs, okay? We gotta do turkey bacon as well. Okay, here you go. Show the macros real quick. This is something you don't need to weigh because it shows that it's two slices and this is all the macros for it. Okay, so you just put two slices on the, on the pan and grill that bitch up and put this in my fitness pal. Action. Since you just saw the clip of me doing egg whites, 
Uh, point on the scale to make sure you get 315 grams, but in my case, we did 325. No big deal. No, not the end of the world. We're not fucking competing. Okay. So now we put this shit in my fitness pal. So I'm gonna open her up, my fitness pal. It's all good. You don't need to. It's all good. It just keeps filming me. Okay. We're gonna go plus food, and then we go to this barcode right here, and we're gonna scan that hoe. Scan it. Since we did five servings, we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, and press OK. And that's easy. That you can do for any any food that has a, a food label, you can just scan the barcode and put how many servings you like. However, let's say you're eating uh, chicken breast. You went to the butcher, does it have any nutrition facts? Probably will never have nutrition facts. Uh, we're gonna weigh it out, just like so. So we, we have some chicken breast already cooked. We're gonna weigh it out. Um, we're gonna put it to ounces, that's how I like to track it. So, ounces, right? So let's say you put all this in here. Don't forget to tear the scale as well. So that's two and a half ounces, say three ounces of chicken, okay? So you go back to your phone, and you put in, you search up chicken breast cooked. Okay, so let's just use this one right here. This, one, this is the one I always use, chicken breast FZ. And you want to put put it a certain size of one ounces, and then you put uh, three ounces. That's because how much we weighed already. So three ounces. Okay. I know there's a whole bunch of uh, listings of chicken breast when you, when you put that in, but just make sure you're using the same uh, label every time. So you just you're gonna be inconsistently consistent. If that even makes any sense. Okay, guys. And that's how you how that's how you track your macros. And my fitness pal, pretty much. But let's say you have fruit, okay? We pull up, pull this up again. You gonna put? I got this from Christian Guzman as well. So you put USDA. Let's do blueberries, okay? So you put you, one of the check marks is the one you always want to use, pretty much. And then you weigh your blueberries on the scale again. You put how many servings per 100 grams? So let's say you do 300 grams of blueberries. You put three, okay? Simple as that. In terms of veggies, I don't track that shit at all. You probably, you need veggies in your diet to help you shit anyway. So, veggies have so low calories already, so I don't really bother and really want to be super critical about my veggies. So, hope that helps. That's how you track my macros. That's how you use my fitness pal. And uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. Action. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how I, track my calories, that's how I, that's the method I used in order to lose 35 pounds in around four months. Um, hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions, just DM me, uh, YouTube, uh, message me, whatever the case is, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions as I could have uh, ex probably explained things a bit better, but this is, I'm trying out here. I'm trying my best to explain. I'm not really used to this camera and shit like that, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next video is probably next week with my uh, friend Chris with the leg workout. So don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, call out. Boom. Boom.